Hi everybody, Paul here again. In this video, I'm going to show how easy it can be to fix a vehicle with hard starting. What I mean by hard starting is the engine turns over, but it takes a little while for the engine to start. So stay tuned. In addition to hard starting, other common symptoms associated with this particular problem are rough idling and stalling when the vehicle comes to a stop. It can also cause jumpy acceleration or engine hesitation during acceleration. This is what's called a throttle body, which will be found on fuel injected vehicles. The throttle body consists of a round metal tube and a round metal pivoting throttle plate, also referred to as a butterfly valve. The throttle body controls the amount of air that flows into the engine. Whenever your foot is off the gas pedal, the throttle plate will be in the closed position as shown in this picture. However, even in the closed position, it still allows for a small amount of air to enter the engine for starting purposes and for idling. As your foot pushes down on the gas pedal, the throttle plate will open allowing more air to enter the engine. However, as shown in this picture, over time as a vehicle is driven, the throttle body tube and the throttle body plate will accumulate deposits of black sooty carbon, gum, and varnish caused by hot exhaust gases and unburned fuel. The big caveat is these deposits will block the normal flow of air that should occur when the throttle plate is in the closed position. This blockage of air will cause hard starting, rough idling, and stalling when your foot is taken off the gas pedal or when the vehicle comes to a stop. It can also cause jumpy acceleration or engine hesitation during acceleration due to the throttle plate not opening smoothly. With the use of a throttle body cleaning product, the deposits of carbon, gum, and varnish can easily be removed, which will completely fix these problems. In order to locate the throttle body, first locate the air filter box and then follow the air intake tube. The throttle body will be attached at the end of the air intake tube. This clamp will need to be loosened in order to remove the air intake tube and clean the throttle body. You may also need to remove some other hoses. You can see how dirty this throttle body is which has been causing some hard starting issues and jumpy acceleration. I'll spray it with the cleaner and use a clean rag to remove the carbon, varnish and gum. Try to avoid over spraying it too much. You can also turn the ignition key to the on position and then use something to hold down the gas pedal. This will open up the throttle plate and make it easier to clean. You can also just spray the rag with the cleaner. When you're done removing all the carbon, gum, and varnish, then put it all back together. If you do end up flooding the engine because of spraying too much cleaner, then just hold the gas pedal all the way down to the floor and it should eventually start. So there's really a big difference in the way this starts up now. It starts up immediately. It's also very noticeable that the engine is getting a lot more air at startup because of the higher RPMs. This is going to make a big difference in the performance of this vehicle. Cleaning a dirty throttle body is something that often gets overlooked or people simply don't know about it, but it'll help restore your vehicle to run at optimum performance again. You may also notice an improvement in your gas mileage. I hope you found this helpful. And if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now. And when you guys are working on your cars, I'll be trying to set a new world record standing on my head. <laughs> <laughs>